My interest in teams really stems from my childhood because when I was a kid, my dad used to come home from work frustrated by his company. Now, he was a, a great salesman, God rest his soul, and a great guy. But he was always complaining about the way he was treated at work and how dysfunctional things were. And I didn't know what that meant when I was a kid. But later on, when I got my first job as a consultant, I was dealing with things like strategy and marketing and other operational issues in business. And I found myself distracted by this issue of teamwork. Because I thought, man, if we could get people working in teams, really working together well, it would change everything from the way we dealt with customers to the bottom line and to the way people enjoyed and felt fulfilled in their work. You see, I've come to the conclusion that teamwork truly is the greatest competitive advantage that any group of people can have. And it's not that complicated, it's pretty simple. But it is hard because it requires a lot of work over time and a lot of courage. I think it's actually an intentional, strategic decision we have to make. And by making that decision, we'll be much more likely to accept the cost and the sacrifice that it requires, and that will make it possible for us to encounter the full power of teamwork. You know, if I could say anything to leaders of teams, it would be this. One day you're gonna retire from your job, from working. And, and, and most people that wanna retire think about doing other good things in life, serving people, you know, doing missionary work, or helping the poor, something wonderful, and that's great. I want you to realize that while you're leading this team, you are having a bigger impact on people's lives than you may ever have. You change the way they go home at night, the way they treat their family and their friends and strangers on a bus. You affect their self-esteem, and that's gonna carry over throughout their life. So let's not wait till we retire to realize the impact we can have on people's lives. And your ability to build a good team and to help them feel a part of that team might very well be the most altruistic thing you ever do.